When you create your speeches, who are you writing them for? Is there a specific type of audience? Is there a group of people with a certain demographic? Or is there one person that you write your speech for? One of the best pieces of speaking wisdom I've ever picked up actually came from my coach who got it from his coach. In 2001, my coach Darren was getting ready to compete for the World Championship of Public Speaking. He was in the last few weeks of preparation before that contest and he was hitting a roadblock. His coach, Mark Brown, who was a previous world champion, sat down with him one day and said, Darren, here's what I suggest you do. Rather than trying to write a speech for the world, think about a favorite child in your life. I mean, someone who you would want to leave a message to. What life experience, what wisdom, what knowledge would you want to share with that person? And you only, now you only have five to seven minutes, so make sure it's a, it's a concise message, but think about a specific child you would want to leave that message to. That helped Darren break through a barrier, and he did create a speech that ultimately won him the world championship. So as you create your message, don't think about the audience or a group of people or a company organization. Think about that one person in your life who would most benefit from that message. When you're on stage and you can imagine speaking to that person, all the people in that audience in front of you will also pick up the benefit of that wisdom. I look forward to talking with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.